Hello folks, this is Brian from Super Easy Toots. In this tutorial we're going to look at the basic structure of a program and we're going to create a template file that we can use to create uh, new programs from. Um, so on, on, on your screen here on the left side I've got uh, Quincy and on the right side I've got some notes. I'm going to start off here on the right side just go through the uh, basic process of uh, what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, so basically we create our code and our code gets sent to a compiler and the uh, compiler checks that code for errors and whatnot and if it's clean uh, the compiler creates an executable file then that executable file is sent to the computer and we see the results on our screen so let's go back over here to the left side and on this side and Quincy I've got these six lines of uh, text in here and I want you to just type these in and um, and we're gonna save this as a template file the main the main thing is is these six lines are gonna be in pretty much every program you write especially uh, beginning off um, so I'm going to go, go through each of these lines and give you a basic and very general explanation. There's definitely a lot more depth than what I'm telling you, but uh, for now I think just a general explanation will help you out enough. Uh, so starting at this top line here, this uh, pound include IO stream, uh, what that's telling the compiler to do, pound include is telling the compiler to include whatever, um, whatever file name is located in between these braces. In this case, it's IOStream. IOStream is actually um, located, uh, it's a library that the compiler has access to. Um, and it contains declarations of a basic standard input-output library. Uh, you really don't need to know exactly what that is for now. We'll get into that in later tutorials. Um, but just know that it's, uh, the pound include is giving the compiler in our program access to this file. Uh, so this second line, this using namespace std, uh, what that's telling the compiler to do is to use the standard declarations of the items in the IO stream file. Again, uh, you might be a little confused by that. You don't need to know uh, much more than that. Just know it, it is related to this IO stream uh, file, and we need this in here for now. Um, and then our next uh, four lines are actually tied together. Basically what they are is they create a function and you, again you don't need to know exactly what what a function is. We'll get into that in later tutorials. Uh, but in between these braces is where we're going to actually write our code in our programs for now. Uh, so I want you to, again, I want you to just type these in and we're going to save this as a template file, these six lines, and then we're going to open any uh, anytime we want to uh, start a new program we're just going to open the template file. So uh, if we go in here and we're going to just save this into whatever file, hopefully you've created a C++ folder already, and just save it as template. So now you're going to see some changing in colors and some of the, some of the syntax on here. Don't worry about that for now, um, but what I'm going to do now is close this and let's say we're ready to write our first program or whatever number program uh, what we can do is just go in here and open this template file and we've got those six lines of text in there already uh, and again just about every program you start off with uh, in the beginning of your C++ career you're going to be using these six lines so let's just say I've opened this and I'm typing my program and my program is done whatever it might be I'm just kinda messing around with text here so then I'm gonna go into saving this as my program one. So now I've created a template file and from that template file I've been able to um, to start a, a new program and that's the main purpose of this tutorial again create a template file so we don't have to keep typing this uh, all this text in uh, every single time. 